to commemorate the 85th anniversary of the Riverside Church in the city of New York. The Riverside Church's Board of Directors and Church's Council recently launched the Riverside Community Services Corporation in the furtherance of social justice ministry. Residents say the homelessness suite by the NYPD on 125th Street in Harlem did not solve the problem. It only relocated it. Residents at 1987th Avenue say there's been no heat since Thanksgiving and only the hot water has been turned on a week before Christmas. Shaquilla James says she's proud to see her artwork on display. I feel cool. The third grader from PS242 came to Sherry Harlem today to see her work. Her and her classmates were instructed to draw pictures of Dream Toy for a local pop-up gallery. James drew. I have an American Girl doll because I always wanted one. Other kids drew pictures of action figures, superheroes, and Barbie to name a few. Little do they know, this isn't a competition, rather a wish list. They don't have any idea that these toys are going to show up this holiday season. They think they were just selected for their artwork skills. Children of Harlem co-founder Frank DeBrino collaborated with Sherry Harlem owner Alan Osh to bring this idea to life. And the parents and the children were so proud to have their art work on, the, on a wall in the gallery, you know. So some of them, they even was very uh, emotional. And uh, we have some smile and some tears. Our hope is to always bring that unexpected smile. And tonight, the organization is hosting a fundraiser. They'll auction off the pictures to raise money for the remaining toys. Right now, James is just happy to see her artwork on the wall. And when her toys show up, it's sure to put an even bigger smile on her face. I'll be really elated. The Children of Harlem hopes to raise at least $300 this evening at the auction to cover the cost for the remaining toys needed for the underserved. Debrini says any monies in excess will be earmarked for another project in the fall. I'm Lorraine Muir in Harlem.